Hey YouTube, today I want to talk to you about local control and why it's so important for you to purchase IoT devices with local control when possible. I mean, there's definitely some companies, uh, obviously Amazon, Google, that they're always going to have some sort of cloud control, but for standard IoT devices, you really want local control when possible. Here's an example of exactly why it's a problem. Hive is a company that sells IoT devices. They are based out of the UK, but they sold their thermostats and home shields and smart lights uh, worldwide, so both in Europe and North America. We just recently got an email that says they will no longer be running their North American servers. So starting November 30th of this year, our home devices will just no longer function. Because there's, there's such cloud dependency on these devices, so there's nothing you can really do. Um, they just encourage you to recycle your Hive devices, which is basically just tossing them out, and that's the end of it. If you go to their website, they'll tell you that uh, they, this was a planned decommission, but because there's no local support, things like leak sensors, thermostats, and any other devices you may have had, they're just gonna end up in the garbage. So whenever possible, just try to get devices that support local control. Search the Home Assistant integration. They'll tell you if there's a cloud dependency or if there's local control available. And if you have two competing devices that one has cloud dependency and the other one has local control, just go for the local control and then you can avoid these things in the future. All right, that's it for today. Take care.